Hi, what I have to show today is a chocolate fountain from Royal Catering. A device that will make any buffet stand out. Uh, it gives that certain wow factor to every party. So it's great for christenings, wedding receptions and alike. Uh, let me go through all the details uh, and I'll talk you through it. Uh, first of all, it's a stainless steel construction. The device works with 315 watts of power, so quite powerful. Uh, the whole mechanism, the heart of the device is in the bottom base. That's where the controls are. Uh, I'll get to the controls in a second. Uh, obviously, you have the uh, temperature regulation, then you have uh, the on and off switch for the heating element, then you have the uh, switch for the motor, uh, which uh, runs the ogre that is inside. But let me just show you uh, the tower and all its single parts. So, first of all, and that's quite important for cleaning, you can disassemble the whole thing down to its very basic parts, uh, down to its base actually, uh, so all the parts that come in touch with the chocolate, you can disassemble, just rinse it out with water, try it properly, put it back on. So, you have the top tier that just comes off, uh, if you, you lift up the tower and you can take the auger out. So, as you can see, it leaves you with a single part, so you can rinse the auger, clean it properly. This is basically just a tube after you've disassembled it, uh, and, well, it's quite easy and effortless to clean. So let me just put it back together. Just like that. Make it tight so it doesn't wobble, but not too tight because you want to be able to take it out of the stand later on. The auger fits in only one way. There's a special notch on the bottom. That's where it fits on the shaft. So when you drop the auger, you just need to find that spot where it falls down, just like that. Then you set the top on. The top has a hole on in it. So that works as a stabilizer for the auger. So if you put it like that, the auger won't wobble. All right, so that's all there is to the machine itself. Let's see it in action. Let me pour some chocolate in, and if it comes to pouring chocolate, uh, my advice to you, of course, you can uh, drop your granulate um, inside of the bowl, uh, turn the temperature on, and then melt it into the bowl. But from my own uh, experience, I know it will take a while. So my advice to you is to always uh, melt some chocolate in advance and pour it in when it's melted so the device will start straight away. All right, so I put my chocolate in. Let's turn the device on. So let's turn the heating element on. If it comes to temperature, uh, you can regulate the temperature between 30 and 110 degrees. Obviously, 110 is way too much for chocolate, uh, but if it's uh, standing in a drafty place or where it's cold, it's nice. Well, it, it's not, you're not tempering chocolate, so you don't need to worry about it. It just needs to be runny. So the higher, the better, but if it's too high, it may burn. So I would just keep it at somewhere around 70, 80 degrees. Uh, just remember it works with steel. Steel is cooling the chocolate down and you don't want like, you know, icicles uh, hanging down. Uh, you just want runny chocolate. So uh, I would set it around 70, 80 degrees. Uh, my advice to you is, well, uh, nobody can tell you the exact temperature. You have to figure it out for yourself because it all depends on the conditions in your room. Um, 70 degrees work for, works for me. All right, so. Once it is melted, you just turn the auger on, so the motor. Now this starts turning, as you can see, it sucks the chocolate. All right, it really looks amazing. It stands out and, well, kids go crazy about it. So what you're doing now, uh, you usually serve it with some marshmallows, some fruits. Uh, I do have some strawberries here, so get it on a stick. Just dip it in your chocolate as much as you need. There you go. And this is for your customers. It's awesome. All right. So if you're looking for a chocolate fountain, have a look at the website. There's a variety of these machines on offer. Uh, each and every one comes with a three-year warranty. And if you order it, the producer made sure it will arrive to your place safe and sound by packaging it in a really sturdy cardboard box, which is double cardboard, lots of packaging material in it. 
It comes partially disassembled with a really nice tight fit. I can't, you know, assemble it now, but you have to trust me on it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in it. Uh, of course, inside you will find two things. Uh, one is the instruction manual. Please have a read because there's a lot of useful information in there. And the second thing is what I find is a really cool feature. Um, that's the seals, spare seals, some spare parts. That's for um, the seals uh, uh, underneath the bowl. And some fuses as well. And you have to imagine, like, you know, uh, if it sits in front of your customers on a wedding and it just happens to break down, and these are the most common things to uh, change in a machine like that. Uh, you don't want to cancel a wedding, right? So you just use the spare parts, use the fuse, change it up, and off you go again. So that's a really cool feature. All right, so that's all I have to this machine. Uh, if you found this informative, just leave me a comment in the comment section what other equipment you want me to test, then I'll do it. And, well, I thank you guys for watching, and i see you next time.